most vitrified forts you'll find are on Easter Island, but they're all over Ooh. the place. A good amount of them are vitrified on the top to the point that they are glass. So for those who are watching right now, vitrified basically means like turned into glass, you right, know, right. That, the, that the rock has become smooth. I have a theory about that whole vitrification and the top part being more dense than the rest of it. Yeah, so this is a good example. So you see rocks like this all, all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they kind of look like mushrooms and stuff. Um, just I liked, and you can see there's a door right there. Somebody yeah. lived. This is this is literally a Smurf house. This is right. a petrified freaking Smurf house, man. Yeah. And there's lots of these all over the world. There's just one. But anyways, let's focus on this one, right? So check yeah. this out. You can see just by looking at it using the imagination, it looks kind of muddy right there in the middle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. We got another part down here where the earth almost kind of like grows up out. It looks kind of muddy in the middle, but the top clearly is not muddy. It's baked. Right. The top is burnt. Yeah. And it's way more dense and vitrified in some cases than the rest of it. So one could make the case that these cosmic bolts of lightning and plasma that reach down from the heavens with such immense power that have the ability to rearrange bonds at the electrical and chemical levels you know, possibly pull up muddy portions of the earth in places where they're about to strike. And then they hit and make a, a connection up here at the top. And then they send that power all throughout it. And then obviously it would become less powerful and less powerful as it goes throughout the, the clay and mud and muck and whatever.